Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to more Ark Survival Evolved and this time we're looking at the dragon. I did find the dragon in Survival of the Fittest and I did play with it a little bit and I made a quick little video but this time since it's been my own server I can show you the dragon a little bit better with better quality and better graphics and you get to see it just a little bit better than you did in the previous one. So as you can see he is absolutely massive. You can uh, tame him, you'll find him, he usually spawns in about an hour left to go on the clock, he'll spawn in, he's available for about 20, 25, 30 minutes, something like that. And you get to use him, he spawns in a level 1, I don't know if he spawns in a higher level than level 1, but level 1, he's still going to be having loads of health and he can fly and breathe fire onto things. Uh, right click if you want to breathe fire onto things and if you want to fly you just press space. Now you can have as many dragons as you want as long as you host a survival of the fittest mod and you get yourself in there admin you can summon the dragon in you can change the timer you can do whatever you want you can customize your own server however you please and you can have 20 dragons if you want to although i don't recommend it because you're probably going to lag really bad but hey you can have 20 dragons if you really want to now we do know that this is going to be a boss at some point is going to be introduced in the base game so you can have a bit of fun with it in the single player spawn it in tame it and all that sort of stuff um i mentioned in the previous one and i'll mention in this one you can only tame this in the ring by giving it prime meat so don't go in and put in normal meat because you won't eat it you'll only be tamed with prime meat so take some of that when you're going in and it should be yours it shouldn't take too long just watch your back because somebody might be wanting to go for that dragon it might shoot you in the back as it is so far it is pretty pretty cool obviously they're still going to do a few things and tweaks to it but i can only imagine what kind of base you would need if you want to tame this and put it inside your base because it's absolutely huge as for stats wise it's got good stats to start off even at level one it starts off with like eight nine thousand health or something like that but his top or and his stamina are not really high in the low levels so that might be something that they've introduced right now for survival of the fittest for you to have this for 20 25 minutes but don't have too much stamina don't have too much top or so you can still take it down if you're being attacked by it and because it doesn't have that much he um, not health that much stamina and that much top or maybe maybe a couple of tribe mates maybe if it's four of you in a tribe you should might be able to bring down this mighty beast so this is what it looks like and if you're wondering what if you had two dragons and you battled it out with two dragons what would happen let's do this let's have at it <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, I had the height on you there, I think. Yep. Or I'm on fire. Yeah, I'm on fire. both on fire, right? Yep. Right. Fucking stamina, man. Yeah, I think that's going to be the key. This can only breed fire if you have good stamina on it. Holy hell, this is so buggy. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> what the? Holy shit, how much fucking health we got? Only got a bit left. That is sexual. Oh shit, man. Oh man, I'm like one bite. You could even pike my ass and dead. Yes! Oh, you got it! <laughs> you got me, man. Ah, GG. Ah, dudes. 